YouTube sports questions are back, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait for this one. As much as I love to compete in one, unfortunately, 2023 is just not the year. But all is good. So for those that don't know, on October 8th at 12.30pm at Docklands Court, there will be the third edition of AFL YouTube sports matches. And this time, it's not a cricket match because the last two that have been cricket matches. It is a soccer match this time around between Mezzi United and the HQ Heroes. And Hats off to them, I'll leave their channels in the description below as well. And also the team lines will be in the description below as well. Not their positions, because obviously we don't know what positions. And also the coaches as well. But yeah, those two great minds have made a AFL YouTuber soccer match that will be held on Sunday. So get down if you can. And yeah, let's do the prediction video for the AFL YouTuber soccer match. Let's go. Alright, so with these predictions, I've got a lot more than last time because I think for the last prediction video, I only had like three or four um, awards and predictions to go through. This time, the same amount, but this time I'll go through with more detail. So, I've got the first goal scorer, the best on ground, most goals, and who I think will win and also which team I'll be supporting. We'll start with the first goal scorer because I feel like this one's probably one of the, the more weak predictions, but it's also pretty hard to predict because there's probably about 10 possibilities for who can kick a goal. So, first goal scorer. I just feel like this bloke, he's got a lot of soccer experience. He did hold the last sports match. He hosted it. And yeah, I just think that he's going to have an impact early, kick the first goal for Men's United. And I just think that the brother himself, Play17, will kick the first goal of the AFL YouTube soccer match. Yeah, so Menzer said that he's probably going to go a deep struggle. I don't think it's Menzer's decision. I think it's the coaches who I think was Jarrah and Will. But yeah, if, if he's saying that Blaze has experience and he's going to go a deep striker, it's most likely that Blaze will kick the first goal. And he did say in chat as well when the draft was going that he did want to be a deep striker. But yeah, I can see it in Blake. He played well in the cricket match and I think he's got the striking skills to kick the first goal as well and have an impact early for Menzer United. Who will kick the most goals in the game that I think has the ability to kick three or four goals. And in fact, I do have someone that I believe will kick four goals and take out the golden boot. And this bloke, he actually plays for the HQ Heroes. He was pick one. I always love backing in the pick ones. And this is because I think that Jake Rippon will kick four goals and take out the golden boot and a potential win for the HQ Heroes. I'll get to that later though. But yeah, kind of going down the same track of what I said about Blaze and uh, what Menza said about him. But Jake, pick one. If you're a pick one, you're obviously going to be a star. I think majority though. But Jake, I'd back him in for four goals and probably lead him to a victory. But again, I'll get to that later. And I think, though, it's not just going to be Jake that I believe will take out the gold boot. Because, in fact, I do have a tie between two people, which is Jake and also another bloke. And I literally just mentioned him, Blaze 17 as well. I think it will kick four to three goals as well. And, again, potentially lead Menzi United to a victory or not. I'll get to that later. I'm going to stop saying that. It should be real close between those two, though. But, I, again, I wouldn't be surprised if Blaze did outlast Jake. But for this prediction, I do have a tie. But... I think you kind of have to choose one, and I just think Jake will just outlast Blaze by one goal, and will kick one goal more than Blaze. So, Jake Ribbon, gold boot. I nearly stumbled there. Now, for the third prediction, it is one of the main ones of this soccer match, and it's probably one of the big ones that happens every year. It's probably the, it's probably the medal that happens after every sports match, and this is the one and only, the best on ground. So, two already that are right here have already been best on ground for the cricket match, but then there's one here waiting for the soccer match best on ground. Who would that be? The answer to that is Jake Rippon. Again, so four goals. If you kick four goals in a soccer match, that's so hard to do. I just think, you know, he'll probably get a lot more touch on the ball. I think he's gonna just outlast Blaze in the last couple minutes and just get, get a lot more touch than him and then take out the best on ground and on debut as well would be monumental for Jake. But yeah, runner up for this one, I'll have Blaze 17 as well. And for a third, I'm gonna go with Smokey, who hasn't been mentioned yet, but with the football experience, I reckon he'll get third, and that is Cardman 22. But yeah, it's just probably gonna be a seesawing affair between Blaze and Jake, and probably both teams as well, not just those two. But for those two, it'll be a seesawing affair for best on ground and most goals scored, and yeah. So now there's two more predictions for this video, and that is what team I'll be supporting and which team I think will win, and also what margin. Let's have a look at that. Now, I respect all blokes playing for both clubs. I respect Manza, I respect GoHQ. I'm not going to go through all the list. But yeah, I can reveal that Football Sirens is a HQ hero. Yeah, I looked at the poll and a lot of people were going for Men's United, but no, I'm a HQ hero. Honestly, I've known the blokes that play for the HQ heroes for longer. And obviously, they're mostly a Cats fan outfit, and I, yeah, I'm a HQ hero, just put it that way. But yeah, no hard feelings for those that are playing on Men's United and those that are also supporting Men's United. 
And now the final prediction for the video is the score prediction plus the margin. Now, I just, I just think it'd be unfair to be biased and choose the HQ Heroes. And I do think that Men's United will pull through and win it by three goals with a score of seven to 10. Yeah, high scoring, I know. But Docklands Court is a really small, I guess, field. And I'd be surprised if the score didn't go over 10 goals. I genuinely would be. But again, it could be either really high scoring or really low scoring. But back on track now. I just think Men's United, they'll kick more goals than the HQ Heroes. I know Jay kicked four goals, but I think Blaze will also carry Men's United to a victory. And yeah, uh, I think Men's United will take it out by three goals. And also, I just want to really say as well, for the fact that it's going for 20 to 25 minutes, two 20 to 25 minute halves, it just, yeah, I just see it being a 7 to 10 final score. And Men's United taking it out 7 to 10, 3 goal win. And uh, yeah, that was my short prediction for the AFL YouTuber soccer match. It was actually really fun to make. I might actually consider doing AFL round predictions next year. See you in the next one.